Hey, NES Evolution here, doing a gaming pickup today. Um, this is going to be all Nintendo stuff, so that's pretty cool, right? Um, let's start off with um, it's a 64 game that I picked up. Um, I needed this one when I needed, and it's uh, uh, in the zone 98, so kind of one of those sports titles that I needed, and I got it cheap, so I picked it up. Uh, now, while we're on 64, let's go to this unique item here. Um, this, you don't see it very often. Um, it's actually a hand controller for the 64. Strap it on there, so you can, and the joystick's up here. But I think you can actually, when you move this, it like you can move side to side, forward, whatever with it. Um, kind of unique item. Um, so yeah, you don't see it too often, really. Um, it's got the rubber pack on it, so so yeah, pretty cool right there. Next up, let's go to um, a couple of handhelds that I picked up. Um, I picked up a <laughs> I know it's got Cheetah, uh, it was on there, but it's a DS Lite. It's in really good shape. Came with a charger pick that up and these are some this is something I just buy a lot of Nintendo SPs because they're always in demand they play Game Boy Advanced and original Game Boy games that's what's awesome about them um, just I don't know they're really in demand and they're like a little computer they look like a little computer to me and then you lift it up and usually the insides are always really good because um, yeah you can flip them down like this so I like that one actually I have a black one a blue one and a silver one now I have a red one so pretty cool on that front now let's get to some doubles that I have now that I'll probably use for trade um, classic connection for the NES um, manic or uh, uh, maniac mansion kid Icarus Curry Warrior, Curry Warriors 3. I mean, some of these are pretty good priced. I mean, not like super high, but $20 range. Uh, Donkey Kong Classics, which has all the Donkey Kong games on it, which is awesome. Then I stumbled, somehow in the last week, I've stumbled upon these. Um, I got Zelda 1 and 2 Gold Cart for the NES. Then I have Zelda 1 and 2 Gray Carts variants yeah got all of them I already have all these just gonna be good for trade for sure so um, next up is games um, oh, actually you know I should have showed that one but that 64 one is what I need now here are games that I actually need that I have uh, that I wanted um, that is I got Castlevania Super Castlevania 4 for the Super Nintendo Pretty cool, gotta pick that up. Um, next is a game for some reason I didn't have, it's kind of common, I guess. The Hunt for Red October NES. And now the last one I'm showing you is a very rare game that's hard to find um, for um, NES. Um, this has stickers on it and some stuff, but I did pretty good on it. I did a trade, so I didn't have to pay any money. Traded some stuff that I had, some toys and different things, box toys and um, yeah, pretty much box toys and uh, what else? Um, maybe a Game Boy, extra Game Boy that I had and stuff. But it's Cowboy Kid for the NES. It's funny because the sticker on here says Papa Video, which is pretty close to here, you know, not too far away, so it's funny. But Cowboy Kid, um, in decent shape, really. So, got the sticker. This sticker is not is almost on the sticker but it's not so that's good uh, I'll eventually probably take that off I don't know I might keep it on there because this is pop-up video the marker will come off eventually if I use a magic eraser but then it could damage the cart so I might just leave it on there I mean how much does it really take it down it's a two it's like almost a $200 game um, does it take it down to $30 also I always buy these for my rare games and that's a case because I know I'm not going to get the box for it but it's like the original artwork on the back and how the original box would look 
So I, if you look behind me up over there, you can see I have a bunch of them. And then on top of that NES box, um, I'll show you. See, I have some rare, say I have Godzilla 2, um, Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers 2, Mighty Final Fight, Fire and Ice. Those are some of my rarest NES games. Then I have some really rare ones over here as well, like Colored Dinosaur, um, Gargoyles Quest 2, RC Pro M2, Dark, um, Adventure Island 3 with a manual. Yeah, so I buy those cases. They're only like, what? six or seven bucks on ebay i don't really buy on ebay but i do buy these so helps keep my rare games safe so for sure okay nes evolution signing off hope you enjoy these pickups haha <laughs> i had some good ones and i have a whole nother stack of games mainly sega genesis but a couple extras added in there so and i'm going to a game store today so i'll have more bye